Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I have started a new series on how to remember all the anti-tumor drugs. But in today's video, I will be discussing mainly on the anti-tumor antibiotics that is bleomycin, actinomycin, downarubicin, doxorubicin. Uh, so for each drugs, there will be a cartoon and that will remind you all the features that is mechanism of action, clinical use or adverse effects. So please watch the video till the end to get the full benefit. Okay. So we'll start with the bleomycin drug. Uh, this picture should remind you of bleomycin how because uh, this guy is blowing a balloon so blowing for bleomycin uh, the mechanism of action is uh, this drug induces free radical formation and breaks the dna in the tumor cells so the the bubbles in the uh, bubbles inside the balloon will remind you of the formation of free radicals okay so those bubbles is nothing but the free radicals okay and that free radicals will cause the dna breakage and it is used in the testicular cancer or hodgkin lymphoma now see this guy is blowing a balloon and, and just imagine he's not blowing just balloon but he's blowing a testis okay so this is very much you know uh, stigma to the society so that's why there is a rash on the skin so that should remind you of the skin hyper pigmentation which is the adverse effect of bleomycin one of the adverse effect and all his air is going into the balloon or testis so his uh, lungs is also getting fibrosed okay so these are two main uh, adverse effect apart from the common adverse effect that is myelosuppression so i will not talk about that common adverse effect which is myelosuppression it it is almost everywhere so unique thing is that hyperpigmentation and pulmonary fibrosis so as he is blowing all his air inside the testis and this would remind you of the clinical use that is it is used in the testicular cancer uh, his lung is getting fibrosed okay this is the way of remembering things and blowing a testis is not a good thing is very stigma stigmatized so that's why there is a skin rash it is a stigma or rash to his uh, skin and there is also he he's he's hiding uh, doing this uh, thing so he's hiding beneath the hood so that will remind you of the hodgkin lymphoma for which it is used okay so basically it is used in testicular uh, testicular cancer and hodgkin lymphoma and adverse effects are skin rash that is skin pigmentation or hyperpigmentation whatever you call and the lung fibrosis so this was all about the bleomycin okay now if you see in the book you will find that bleomycin mechanism of action is inducing free radical formation breaking the dna clinically used in the testicular cancer hodgkin lymphoma and adverse effect pulmonary fibrosis skin hyperpigmentation with minimal myelosuppression okay and one thing i would like to add is in bleomycin it works in the g2 phase of the cell cycle so there are two testes so uh, that will remind you of the working in the g2 phase of the cell cycle so next uh, drug is dactinomycin or actinomycin d uh, this picture should come in your mind in any question related with actinomycin why because you can see the little boy is acting okay in front of the camera so that is acting should remind you of the actinomycin so uh, this guy is uh, intercalating the dna and that is what the mechanism of action of this drug is that is it intercalates into the dna and prevent the rna synthesis okay so he is actually acting to produce the sound of a of a cat so that is that should remind you of mu okay m e w mu mu for myosarcoma ewing sarcoma and wilms tumor which which are the uses of this drug and because i have featured the child so this is uh, basically this drug is basically used in a childhood tumor in any childhood tumor uh, like mu for myosarcoma that is rhabdomyosarcoma e for ewing sarcoma and w for wilms tumor okay and this cat is breaking the bone that should remind you of the common adverse effect that is not very unique though the only adverse effect implicated in this drug is myelosuppression okay so this is all that you need to know about the dactinomycin or actinomycin okay now if you'll see what's written in the textbook is that dactinomycin or actinomycin d intercalates into the dna and if you remember that guy intercalating the dna preventing the rna synthesis clinical use the the child the child was imitating the sound of uh, cat so that will remind you of mu mu for m for myosarcoma that is rhabdomyosarcoma e for ewing sarcoma and w for wilms tumor used for childhood tumor because the child because the guy was child okay and that was effect myelosuppression so the final drug in this group is doxorubicin and downarubicin 
Uh, the red ruby diamond should remind you of the name of the drug that is doxorubicin and downorubicin and the mechanism of action is intercalation in the DNA which will uh, lead to the breakage of the DNA. So you can see the um, ruby is shaped into DNA, uh, double stranded DNA and it is breaking. Some rubies are falling down uh, and that is done by the intercalation. Okay, And also it will generate the free radical uh, so that you, you can see the girl is blowing a uh, bubble gum this time and those bubbles in the bubble gum is uh, should remind you of the free radical formation and uh, this is this drug is mainly used in uh, leukemia and lymphoma which is which is remembered by the luke lime that she's drinking okay that lime uh, lukewarm lime she's holding on her you know left hand should remind you of the use that is in the leukemia and lymphoma one very important thing that you should remember in case of doxorubicin and downorubicin is that it causes cardiotoxicity that is dilated cardiomyopathy apart from alopecia. So you see the hairless heart should remind you of the alopecia and and the two and the heart should remind you of the dilated cardiomyopathy the sad face on the and you see the heart is looking into something uh, that is uh, a razor placed on the deck so that should remind you of the dextrazosin. That is the drug uh, that you can use to prevent the cardiotoxicity. This is basically iron chelating agent. So you can imagine that razor is of, made up of iron. So this is this is all basically you need to know about the do doxorubicin and downorubicin. So to summarize, the two mechanisms of action is by formation of free radicals and intercalation in the DNA and use is leukemia lymphoma that she is holding on the left hand and also the adverse effect is um, cardiotoxicity that is dilated cardiomyopathy and it is associated with uh, fibrosis you know uh, ox because of the oxidative damage and which you can compare you should compare with the trastuzumab where there is no fibrosis at all okay that drug also causes dilated cardiomyopathy I will talk about that in the next video um, and the and the drug that you can use to prevent the cardiotoxicity is dexrazosin. So heart is looking into the uh, into the drug which will, you know, rescue him from the cardiotoxicity. So that is razor placed on the dex. So dexrazosin. Okay. So now if you see in the book, you will also find the same thing that is a generation of free radicals, intercalation in DNA used in leukemia, lymphoma. Adverse effect is cardiotoxicity that is dilated cardiomyopathy, alopecia. Myelosuppression is common in almost all anti-cancer drugs, so I have not given a special mention for that. Dexrazosin, iron chelating agent used to prevent cardiotoxicity, so remember the razor placed on the dex, so this to remind of the dexrazosin. So this was all that you need to know uh, about anti-cancer antibiotics. So if you found this video was helpful, uh, do consider subscribing the channel and uh, hit the ring button to get the further notification of upcoming videos thank you so much for watching